This was once a nice house in a nice suburb of Detroit. But this morning, the windows are covered with cardboard and wood. There is no running water. There are no paintings on the walls. Wires run from under the back door into the first floor bedrooms where amplifiers alert Mallory and the children to any sounds coming from outside the house. The three of them live this way. They do not go outside for long periods of time. When they do, they are blindfolded. Today, they will leave the house forever. Boy, girl, get up. Get up now. Mommy needs you to move fast. I need your ears more now today than I've ever needed them. Listen. Beyond the water. Listen. Mallory, there's another report on television. Something happened in Alaska. Did you hear me, Mallory? The story is everywhere. People are starting to say it's related to seeing something. Isn't that strange? I just heard CNN say it's the one constant in all the incidents. That the victim saw something before attacking people and taking their own lives. Shannon? Oh, dear God. Shannon would never do this willingly. Dear God, it's true. Something is out there. Hello, my name's Tom. The night dawn arrived, three of us were sitting in the kitchen, listening to the radio, and George suggested there might be some variety of life that was causing this to happen. We talked about irreconcilable life forms. It seems that no matter what prism you view them through, they'll hurt you. Creature, infinity, our minds have ceilings. Mallory, these things, they are beyond, higher than, out of reach, out of Riverbridge, 273 Shillingham. My, my name is Tom. I'm sure you understand the relief I feel like getting your answer. It means